Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to Brick Mania TV. It's Lando here, and today Dan is joining us, and we have his all new Panther. Right, that's right. This is the G variant, correct? It is. Nice. So this is this is the G G model would be the last variant made before the end of the war. So kind of like we're we're doing 1945 stuff. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff at the end of World War II right now. So this is this is the G variant. And it is in the ambush camouflage. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the most common camouflages that the Panther came in. Um, end of 1944 into 1945, you'll see a lot of these guys out in the field through the end of the war. So uh, currently, you have all the hatches open. I do. Yeah. I just, it's just a demonstration. Just, 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 let's just take a peek here. So there, obviously, the commander here is is in, is in his own hatch. Uh, does does close. Both drivers have hatches, mm -hmm. uh, which do open and close. And you could you know you can pose the guys in them. That's not that's not gonna. The, not, you know, that's what that's what they're for. And then you have the hatch for the engine cover. So let's actually point this out. That you can see the engine, so the Maybach Ooh. engine in there. And I'll show you how this whole thing comes apart in a second here. Nice. It does have a detailed interior. That's so. not very common. Normally, normally you uh, you know you go for a more standard layout, but it's cool when occasionally you uh, uh, yeah for bust some out a the the Tiger and the Panther. We've done a lot of work putting details on the inside, so yeah. might as well show them off. So. Cool. Um, we could actually do a cheaper model, but with the camouflage, it's not going to really save you a whole no. lot. The camouflage makes us, does make it's us a more premium. It's kind of once you get into this, model. yeah, more premium tier, then you know what? Let's uh, yeah. let's make it a top tier model. So yeah, it it, cool. it does. Let's just point. I'll just I'll just show it every when when uh, point we're it. talking about. Take the turret off, and then we'll take the whole top of the hull off. And you do have this is basically the interior of the of the whole base. Um, you do have. Seats for two guys mm -hmm. in here, and I don't have guys in it. We only this this model we only put one figure in it. But if you wanted to get some extra figures, you can put them in there. They will fit in both seats, nice. even with the gun, which we did put this handy dandy little machine gun in here. So Very that is nice. they. Yeah. It, it's an MG34 in the in the Panther, and we put a brick arms base gun barrel basically right. there. Uh, it's not the right gun, but it looks good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have the engine. You, could, you do have detailed in engine compartment, of course. So nice. You do have the, the inside of the tank showing. Um, so if you do want to show it off to your friends and neighbors, because it's cool. Yeah, I've always liked that. I mean, even even going back quite a few years. Um, oh, you caught it. Nice. I caught it. Even going back a few years, uh, that's one thing I've always liked about the different kits. Um, Demonstrating that the, the, <laughs> just how modular. the suspension does actually work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We do, don't recommend rolling over your tank commander, but uh, <laughs> we do have uh, semi-functioning, you know, uh, working suspension. Um, the inner tires will, will will actually go up and down. There we go. There we go. Yeah, is that better? Very, very <laughs> nice. You know what I was saying? I, I just like how modular um, these builds are, and it's not it's not just one giant box that you have to break apart to get inside of, you can actually take it apart like this. So. Well, it makes building it a little bit more enjoyable. Right. Plus, if you want to pose guys inside of it, you can. The guys will fit inside there and the, and yeah. with the hatches closed and everything, so you can have your two, your driver and your co-driver in there. Uh, radio operator in this yeah. case. I don't think the, I don't think the Panther driver, co-driver has actual controls of the vehicle. Whereas in some of the American tanks, they will have a second set of controls. So, um, so you're saying this was uh, used pretty widespread? Um. Yeah, so East, Eastern Front, um, it was designed after the T-34, basically same concept, steep slope, yeah. sloped armor in the front, um, heavy, armor in the, heavy armor all around the Very, turret, yeah. um, super high powered gun. This is basically designed to slice through heavy, heavy Russian tanks, uh, but of course they did appear on the, on the Western Front. Right. Uh, they were in Italy, they were anywhere that the German army was. They, they essentially replaced the Panzer IV as Germany's main uh, tank with the Panther. Uh, the Allies totally underestimated that, at least the Western Allies. They thought that they weren't going to see any of these anywhere on the Western Front, and they were really surprised. Mm -hmm. with, they started showing up, especially in large numbers. So, there we go. Yeah, we talk about the figure. Then. Yeah, sure. Um, Forty-four dot camouflage on this minifigure. Um, I think this uh, this initially debuted in the Tiger Crew pack. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like a five pack of minifigures, mm -hmm. uh, and now we're using them in a few of our different kits. Um, so it's a nice. Um, a I think for the era, a pretty effective camouflage pattern that um, was being used. Uh, other notable features would be the binoculars, some different metals, and on the arm, it's, there's a tank destruction um, badges. Um, nice. And that's actually for like handheld weapon tank. So it's like a. So he, he did that with yeah, yeah. He did that on <laughs> extracurricular outside yeah. of the tank activity. Right. So. so. Yep. 
You do get the Panther. The Panther does come with the MG34 uh, on the roof. Uh, if you're anti-aircraft gun, you can put the Commander back inside. Nice. He can ride in style in this, this shiny new Panther tank. So, there we go. Uh, it does come with some printed elements. We do have the printed grill covers, of course. Um, the, the sides of the turret, those are actually stickers. We did put multiple numbers in there, so you could yeah, actually three have different variants, three right? different numbers. So you could have three different versions, three different tanks. Uh, same unit, but they'd be three different tanks. Um, so if you did have more than one, you'd, you'd be able to do that, no problem. Yeah. So. All right, solid kit. Um, Panther, yeah. the G variant, the Asaf G. Right, it is. It, it is. It, we have done the Panther before. We have done very similar tank mm -hmm. than this. Uh, this is just updated all around. It's yeah. been a couple of years, so uh, it is the, one of the most requested vehicles that we've done, and therefore I just want to keep it in production as much as possible. Awesome. Makes sense. Uh, we also have another release coinciding at the same time. Right. This isn't mine. This is actually Cody's update of the Pack Forty. Yes. So this will be a late. Late war version of the Pack 40 with another kind of camouflage. This is very another commonly used camouflage, mm -hmm. um, and Cody picked this camouflage because Ooh. it matches the King Tiger here. So That's the King nice Tiger and the Yag Tiger um, all have this camo. So if you if you have one or more or, or both of these, uh, the King Tiger Yag Tiger, this would be a great addition. Sure. Uh, we will be doing uh, more vehicles, I'm sure, and more weapons in this camouflage yeah. in particular, but. Uh, one thing I don't have here, it does come with a, uh, a shell. You can load the shell in the breech uh, for like an added little play feature if you wanted to make a little scene. Uh, the tails do join together and you can tow this behind your Opal Blitz or any other vehicle that, that, that uh, you know, you want to, you're going to tow your artillery pieces with. Uh, a new camouflage sticker sheet. Right, that's wrapped around the barrel. Yes. It's pretty cool. There's camouflage wrapped around the barrel. You don't have to use it, but it does make right. it look like really cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're experimenting with some new um, camouflage patterns. Uh, obviously, this is on a sticker sheet. Um, pre in the past, we've printed them on the barrel. Um, well, that works. That adds quite a bit of like time and Huge cost. Huge amount of labor. Yes, yeah. we have to print them um, basically one at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a nice, cost-effective, quick version, uh, and it actually turned out pretty nice. And so hopefully in the future, I'll be experimenting a bit more with that um, camouflage pattern. So right, and, and Cody did a great job. I mean, he has this this this. It, you know, they basically made the the gun the gun shields mm -hmm. um, very streamlined. Very you know, it's, you get more protection behind a slanted shield and, and, the, right. and this Cody really captured it really well. Absolutely. This is one of my favorite renditions of this. So. Yeah, it's just getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anything else you want to show off? No, I think no. that's it for that. Me. This is a solid release uh, right here. I think this is a great looking gun. If, if you pre-ordered your Panther, chances are it's already on its way. Ooh, um, nice. There are some left. We did bake a batch too, so there are some on the website now. Um, we will try to keep this more or less in stock this year. It, we can't guarantee it's going to be in stock year round because we have more models than we can possibly right. keep in stock. But uh, it, we definitely, if you if you don't get it this time, uh, you may be able to get a second or third chance uh, later so, on in the year. Yeah, right on. Um, cool. That's the all new Panther designed by Dan Siskin in this really awesome uh, camouflage color scheme. Right. And don't forget Cody's awesome Pack Forty and Cody's awesome Pack Forty. Cool. That's the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching.